What's up guys, it's Michael from iPlaytech.com. Today I review of the candy convertible case for the iPad mini from hardcandycases.com. Now this is a folio style case for the iPad mini if you couldn't already tell. So let's go ahead and start this review off like every other review, taking a look at the ports and cutouts. So on the bottom here we can see we do have a cutout for the charger as well as very, very small cutouts for the speakers. I will say that these cutouts for the speakers did sound like the iPad mini wasn't as loud when I was using this case just because the cutouts aren't as big as other cutouts or on the other cases on iPad mini. Uh, but they're not too bad but they could be better if they just made it a one large cutout. And on the back of the case, you can see we have a Hard Candy Cases logo right here, as well as a flap here, which we'll get to that in a second, but I'm sure most of you can guess what that is for. On the side, we have a large cutout for a rotation lock, volume up and down buttons, camera hole, and the power lock and unlock button. And on the side, we have a cutout for your headphone jack, Pretty big, but it probably won't fit very many aftermarket headphones if they have a larger 3.5mm uh, headphone jack. But it'll fit your standard uh, Skull Candy ones, your standard ones that come with Apple. Uh, so most of them. The case itself is made out of this very soft material. The version I have here is black. You can also get it in red. And on the website they said this was animal friendly. So what, basically what I'm thinking is that uh, it doesn't attract hair as much. I can still see a little bit of hair there. Uh, but it definitely is better compared to some of these soft touch cases uh, for the iPad mini or just for any iPad or iPhone in general. Let's go ahead and open it up here and you can tell right away that this case does not have a magnet, so the iPhone, or the iPad, rather, will not open unless you put the power button and then slide it to unlock. Now you can see the soft material continues into the entire case, including the bottom of the iPad mini. We also have this little pouch here, which is for a credit card or something like that. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stick my game card, my GameStop Power Up Rewards card in there. And you can see that it's in there right away, ready to go. So let's go ahead and take this uh, case, and kinda, you can see it pivot right here, so there's two pivoting points. We can flip it on the back, use that flap to tuck this under. Then you can see we are in a typing position or position to play some sort of game, maybe Fruit Ninja or something. And if we put it up like this, you can see we're in a movie position to watch movies or play games or FaceTime or do anything you want. And it's a very sturdy too. You can see I can push on it, move it around, and it's not gonna fall. Same with the when it's in movie position too. I can kind of push it and it'll move a little bit, but it's not gonna fall or anything, push it down. You know, I could shake the table or anything, and it's pretty sturdy, uh, pretty good. One thing I did not like about this case is these little, like, edges right here. I feel like the case is undone, almost like they forgot to trim the edges off here. It kind of reminds me of the original iPad case, what Apple made when the first iPad came out. Uh, but I don't really like that feeling. It feels kind of weird to hold like that. I wish they kind of would just trim that off and made it more flush. You can also tell here that when I shut it, it doesn't always really shut completely. I mean, I kind of have to go like this and move it around and then kind of press it down and even then you can still see it doesn't shut completely which is kind of gets annoying especially like if you're on a trip or something and you don't want the screen moving up and down you know there's nothing there's no strap to put it around and cover the front so that the uh, front part of the case won't move around and it just kind of hangs open like that it does have some very good protection though i mean you can see everything is protected the corners the front of the ipad the back of the ipad uh, since it is the soft material it won't be the best for high drops but for scratches and some low drops it'll protect the ipad mini fairly well and overall it's kind of just a regular your everyday folio style case but it has a few little cool features like the uh the credit card holder right here or the card holder i guess you could say as well as the very nice soft material around the whole uh around the whole case of the iPad mini. Now, would you buy this case? That is depending if you want to spend $45. Yes, this is a $45 case. I honestly think that is way, way overpriced. That should be $10 to $15 lower. That's just what I think. I think $45 for this case is way too high. Is it a good case? It's a pretty good case. I mean, it has its flaws, but also has its benefits. Well, I think for $45, it is not worth that. However, you might see it differently if you're looking at this case and you think it's the awesomest case you've ever seen. It's just awesome. Then I'll leave a link down below and you guys can go check it out. Again, it's available in red and black. I don't know if I said that. Maybe I did, maybe I didn't, but it's available in red and black. I have the black model here, obviously, at hardcandycases.com. Again, link in the description below if you want to check it out for $45. Other than that, though, it's going to conclude my review. Folio style case for your iPad mini. Again, link in the description below. The candy convertible case from hardcandycases.com. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching.